watch it regardless. cancellations this morning so this actually gave me a chance to have a normal breakfast because I've got a little bit more time so normal breakfast right what I eat this is what I've got today whole boiled potato got some cauliflower in here some lettuce some liver and chicken wings and then along with this um, apple cider vinegar and uh, what else have we got in this this thing called intestine which is good for helping with digestion so Gonna have a little bit of that this morning. Gonna put some salt and pepper. Gonna meet up with a friend for lunch, so I'm not sure where we're gonna go. That's why, like I said, if you're ever gonna go out and things like that, keep your calories low because you don't know what's gonna happen. So try and fast or keep your calories low or do something along those lines. Now, for me, I'm bulking so I can keep calories lower during the day, and then if the, we go for a bigger lunch, I'm not too stressed about it. And this is my morning. It is now um, 6:30 in the morning, so it's so weird not being able to go to the gym. Well. I've got a client at 7, 7.15, but like now it's just like it's such a odd thing for me to not go to the gym nice and early. So I've been actually doing a lot of client programming since this game of the opportunity, which has been awesome too because now I'm ahead of the game. So hashtag winning. All right, that's me done. I'm going to make a coffee soon and I'll speak to you guys later. I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. I'm not feeling the legs today, but I also just hit a personal best. One of the things I want to share with you guys, one of those days you just don't feel motivated and you don't feel like doing anything, just listen to some good music. Honestly, there's nothing better than putting on some really good beats, blocking stuff out, and just going hard. I just finished my first exercise, the front squats, and I got 62 kilos for a set of eight, 62 kilos for a set of eight, and then 65 kilos, because I was just feeling good. All I did was I made sure I had my coffee, I listened to some good inspirational music, and that is what's keeping me pumped up. That is what's keeping me going. So that's a quick tip to you guys. And it was funny, because I was even talking to one of my clients, Liz, this morning, and I was like, man, I just don't feel like working out today. I've got legs day, it's gonna be tough. And she's like, oh, it's actually good to see that you struggle with the same things that I do. And I was like, yeah, of course I do. Like, everyone struggles. Like, even training, even if you're a trainer, it doesn't mean shit. So just remember that. And if you are having that bad day, put on the music, Go hard, drink your coffee, and you're good to go. I'm gonna finish off this workout, and I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Man, I feel good after that PB. I'm on the way back for some grocery shopping and also having a lunch with my friend Alan, who came to visit from Sunshine Coast. He was down here for something else, and I thought, hey, let's go grab a lunch. And we went to this awesome Turkish restaurant called Saltland Stable. Oh my God, it was so good. And it's funny because I didn't actually I didn't know what I was gonna be doing today, right? Like I didn't know what type of food or anything we'd be going for. And like, you know, obviously there'd be carbs and fats because that's what most food's made up of when you're out somewhere. And so I prepared ahead of time and ate a really, really, not a small breakfast, but just enough to get me through. And then um, also had a little bit of carbs later on for my workout. And now tonight, all I'm gonna have is a protein shake and some veggies mixed together and that's it. I wanna keep it really simple because I did eat a lot at lunch and I'm gonna do as least damage as possible, so I'm not gonna have a big dinner tonight. And that's just what you guys gotta do, is just preparing ahead of time. So whether you're gonna eat out for lunch, whether you're gonna eat out for breakfast, whether you're gonna eat out for dinner, just prepare ahead of time and think ahead. Okay, what do I need to reduce? Am I gonna go somewhere that's gonna have a lot of carb-heavy food and breads and pastas and stuff like that? Or am I gonna go somewhere where I can make a, you know, a, good, a good choice? Like for us, we got the kebab, right? So we get the, uh, the shish kebab, so a little bit of bread, but still a lot of meat there too, which is good. And protein is the best thing for you because it's very, very filling, and it's the least, uh, it's a micronutrient that's not gonna make you store fat. So if you have to consume anything, I would say go for the protein option. And then after that, because you're actually gonna feel, let's be honest, when you go out and eat like shit, sometimes you do feel guilty, so then go and use that guilty time to go and prepare for the rest of the day because you're not gonna wanna make bad choices all of a sudden for the next couple of hours because you are feeling guilty. So then that's the time where you're like, okay, if I feel bad at the moment, go and prepare your meals for dinner because otherwise, after a couple of hours, you might just forget about it and you might get really hungry again. But if you're already prepared ahead of time, that's how you can take away some of the downfalls of eating too much. But at the same time for me, if you're bulking, no stress about it, just enjoy it. But I know I did eat a lot of lunch, so I just have a smaller dinner. And it's as simple as that.
Alright guys, I'm going home to make this protein shake. And um, that's about it. Don't forget, every time after you eat, go for a 10 minute walk, lower that blood sugar, improve that digestion, and you're well on your way. Speak to you soon. What is going on guys? My glasses are pretty foggy as you can see at the moment as I just got out of the shower. But I thought I'm going to end this video vlog today showing you two things that I use pretty much every day now. One is called Ease Magnesium. And I think I talked about this a while ago, but this is actually uh, it's magnesium you run on your, rub on your skin. So it's a spray on, okay? And this has actually been helping me get really, really deep in dreams. Like I never used to actually be a dreamer. Like um, I'd never, you know, actually have a dream, right? Well, or sometimes I would, sometimes I wouldn't. But this is giving me really big, deep sleep. So what this actually means, this can actually help improve your sleep. So it's spray-on magnesium, which means it gets absorbed better than just taking it orally because taking oral magnesium can actually cause diarrhea. One other thing I also use too is, in here, is coconut oil for my lips. Because it's getting cold at the moment, I'm actually using coconut oil all over my lips to help moisturize them. Because I'm not sure if you guys can see this, it's like a crack there, right? And so when you rub um, co coconut oil on it, it's kind of like a lip balm. So that's really been helping me with improve too. So they're just two things that I like to use every day, which is magnesium spray before I go to bed to help me relax and get to deep sleep, and coconut oil, which I'll usually, not every day, but apply in the morning and apply at night too, just around those dry areas. So that's just a quick update. I finished with all my clients tonight. I just had that veggie shake. One quick tip about the veggie shake too. If you need a veggie shake, shake to taste good, put either a lemon or a lime in there to make it sweeter and then add your veggies together. It's actually really satisfying tonight. And um, that's the end of the vlog. Not much else to do tonight. I'm gonna do some R&R, uh, &R, catch up with some stuff, hit the hay pretty early and um, go from there. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.